Here in a huge factory filled with machines Stan mostly invented himself, photovoltaic panels are made not from silicon crystals, but from multiple layers of the exotic metallic alloys the Yavshinskys use in all their creations. Turned out literally by the mile, these solar panels soak up more sunlight than conventional cells and are far more forgiving. So these holes you you put in here to show that it doesn't damage the... Yeah, well, for example, you couldn't do that. Why don't you bring that over? Uh, this, this is a is, conventional crystal. This is the, the conventional old Very heavy, so heavy. Very heavy, yeah. Breakable. Now, does this, would this produce the same amount of energy as this? Uh, no. This through the day, yeah. you get more energy out of this than you do for, for that. And if you damage one little part of this, you're the done. whole panel is yeah. out, right? Now, yeah. here you've damaged a uh, dozen uh, places. Now, this is hooked up to this radio? Radio. And, and that's, that's your only source of light? Yeah. <laughs> the radio goes right on. So, and you can actually take this out in the rain, and it'll turn I know that radio it all the time. on. <laughs> get my clothes all wet. <laughs> because everybody says Can't that, and then when we get back to the office, if it's raining, I rush out ahead of. They wonder what. Then I meet them with the rain coming down, and I'm playing the music. Several large structures all over the world are now clad in Olszynski solar panels. While they're less efficient in bright sunlight than conventional solar panels, their ability to go on making electricity even in dim daylight, for instance in the early morning and late evening, as well as while it's raining, makes them an attractive alternative. Stan's latest invention is an extraordinary machine longer than a football field that's able to make six strips of his solar panels at a time, each a mile and a half long. His goal is to make solar electricity as cheap as that made from coal then use the electricity to make hydrogen. When you first proposed to your people that you wanted to make something a mile long, what crazy. did they say? They thought he was crazy. They said I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy? Yeah, you know, you, we, we, I don't ask for, uh, when I introduce a, a brand new thing, I never ask for uh, taking a vote. We feel that we offer solutions here to what people think are the most serious problems right now, pollution, climate change, and wars over oil, as well as building new industries. So I think if you want to change the world, this is a better way than making political speeches. Stan Obshinsky's dream is to make hydrogen from the sun via solar-generated electricity. But there are other ways the sun could create hydrogen. 